In this ATEM mini tip, I'm gonna show you how and where to download the software to keep your ATEM hardware up to date. If you've just bought your ATEM hardware, it didn't actually come with any software. You have to download it. And I gotta say, the instructions that are in the box and where to find them, not that clear. So you might be watching this having never have downloaded the software and wondering where to get it, or you might already have it, but aren't sure how to update it. So we're gonna cover that right now. First thing you have to do is go to the Blackmagic Design website, blackmagicdesign.com, and then click on the support tab. And then under search by model, type in ATEM, Mini, or whatever model you have. The software is actually the same for pretty much all, if not every single ATEM model, but just to be safe, you can type in the full name or find the model here. I'm gonna be looking at the ATEM Mini Pro ISO, so I'll select that one. Now, just to add a little bit of confusion to the interface here, once you do that, nothing changes here except that a box highlights. And if you scroll down, then you'll finally see the software that you need to download. The latest update as of this recording was from the 18th of February, 2021. It's version 8.6. Click on the button to download either macOS or Windows. If you haven't yet registered your hardware, I definitely recommend you do that. Or if you have, then just click on download now. Once the software is downloaded, locate it in your downloads folder, double click the disk image, and if you're on Windows, I guess it's an EXE. I'm sorry, I don't know, but I'm sure you can figure that part out. And from the DMG that mounts, double click on the installer. That's going to install a Blackmagic ATEM folder that has all the software you need. The two main pieces are the ATEM setup and the ATEM software control. Launch the ATEM setup and navigate to your switcher. If you only have one switcher connected, then that will come right up. From here, you have two options. You can either click this button, which will launch the ATEM software, or this one, which will launch the setup. If there is an update available for your hardware, as soon as you click this button, it's going to prompt you to update. Now, the nice thing is it will not force you to update. It will actually allow you to continue. So if you have to get to work right now, you don't have time to update, you can bypass that. But as soon as you can, come back in here, open this interface again, and it'll prompt you to update. The update procedure is pretty quick. It'll just run through its process, reboot your ATEM, and you'll have the latest software in there. And that's all there is to it. I definitely recommend checking for updates pretty regularly. Blackmagic releases updates to their ATEM hardware lineup pretty often, and quite often they have really cool new features in them. So definitely check this out every once in a while, or just watch for videos on this channel, where of course I'll tell you if there's anything new that you want to install on your ATEM. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with another ATEM user. And if you have any specific questions that you want answered, drop them into the comments below.